I'm so, so excited right now because I got my Dyson Airwrap Styler and I want to do a test video. So clearly I have my freshly washed, um, unblown out hair and I wanted to kind of see if this works. My hair is pretty naturally curly and frizzy and dry, so this will be a true test. Um, before we get started, I want to show you guys how it comes because it comes in this amazing box right here and you lift up the top and there's a spot for everything that you um, need really. I ended up getting the styler for coarse hair. There's a complete one and then there's one for um, fine hair depending on what you need. Um, mine comes with two sizes of the curling barrels, the firm brush. So this is for like more coarse hair again. And then it also comes with this like pre-style attachment for a blowout or like a rough dry blowout. And then this is the actual piece of equipment that you attach the um, attachments to. So let's first start by putting some product in my hair. All right, I'm gonna start with this Monate Inner Force Restructuring Serum. I've been using this lately, it's really great. My hair is really dry and pretty damaged and this has been amazing for it. So I'm just gonna take some of this, rub it between my hands and focus it more so on the ends. I'm also going to take some of my Money Blowout Cream because this is going to act as a heat protectant for me and it also helps smooth my hair a little bit. So those are the two products that I've been using for my blowout when I do it normally. So we're going to stick to those because I know how they act with my hair. So just a little bit of this. And again, all throughout the hair. So this product claims to dry your hair and style it in one step. So you're basically kind of skipping over the drying step and you're going straight to the styling step, which is great because normally my hair is naturally pretty coarse and textured and has like a curl wave to it. Um, I have to blow out my hair first and then flat iron it. So we're gonna kind of play with different scenarios. I have like, like I said, the different attachments. So we're gonna see how this works and I have not touched this yet. I haven't even turned it on yet. I mean, we're just gonna like play around and see how it does. So if you're going to curl your hair, the first step is to use the drying attachment and this acts just like a rough kind of blowout for your hair. My hair is not that wet right now. It's just like a, it's a damp texture, which is what they say that you need. So I'm gonna actually go straight in with the firm uh, brush because I wanna see how well this can kind of straighten my hair because my hair if i let it air dry is very curly so when you attach it i'm thinking you just well i've never done this before so we'll see but i'm thinking you just push this down kind of put it in here i don't think you have to like do anything except for just like lock it into place um it has a couple different settings on here i'm going to put it on the highest heat and the highest setting um, and there's also a cool shot setting so let's turn it on all right it has the same like sound as the um, blow dryer which is like kind of I don't want to call it an aggressive noise but it's kind of a slightly aggressive like air sound um, it's pretty large if you can see compared to my head um, so it, yeah it's definitely like a big it's a big thing all right we're gonna we're just gonna try it. Let's see how well it can flatten my hair first and then we're gonna go in and curl too. I just ran the brush side through my hair, just a few little strokes and it actually like smoothed it out pretty nice. My roots are gonna be the issue because those tend to be a little bit more wavy curly. Um, but considering like it just took a minute and I, I just br literally just brushed it through. It looks pretty good. Um, this is a little awkward to hold. It feels very large and it feels like there should be like a, almost like a smaller handle in the middle to like really grasp it well. But I mean, I'm just being picky when I say that. Okay, I wanna try to curl my hair because that's really what I got this for. Let's test. I'm gonna do the bigger curls because I tend to like more of like a wavy curl. So you have two different ones. The arrows are pointing in, in opposite directions. So you do have to switch it out depending on which side of your hair it's on. So, I mean, generally speaking, you'd want your hair to curl like outward from your face. So you would have to like switch it out in between. All right. Let's just do it. Let's see how it looks. Really have no idea. All right. 
So I watched a video and it said to take a smaller section of hair like this. And then they said to in turn, the, turn the iron on, introduce the ends to the wand and then slowly go towards your face with the piece of hair. Now, my biggest concern with this entire process is that since my hair is curly, I'm, it's gonna be frizzy. I feel, I mean, this is my theory. I feel like the roots are gonna be frizzy, but the ends are gonna be nice and smooth because my hair is so curly at the root that it's gonna be hard for me to flat iron my hair with this. I'm gonna need like an actual, like an actual flat iron to really get close to the root and get that um, over here, especially like nice and smooth. We'll see what happens, but that's just my theory. Okay, so I'm taking a small section of hair like this. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. All right, I got it. That was weird. And then they said to cool shot it for like a second. I'm pretty sure I did that wrong. I'm gonna try that again. Okay. I mean, I have a legitimate curl there. That's like a hardcore curl. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It kind of worked. <laughs> okay, let's try that one more time. Basically, I was having trouble introducing the ends to the barrel. And then also at the end, you're supposed to cool shot it, but I think you're supposed to shut it off before you release. So let's, let's do this again. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Okay, so this is what this curl looks like. It's a very intense curl. I'm hoping my hair won't be this curly in the end. I'm a little scared. So I'm gonna do the whole entire, actually, you know what we're gonna do? Before we move on to the rest of this portion, I'm gonna try to do the curl while my hair is um, a little bit more damp than the other side. Oh wait, I need to change out the barrel. That's kind of annoying, honestly. Okay, it's a quick little change, but still. girl. I mean, that's like a, it's just so, oops, my hair's falling out. It's just so curled. I'm hoping once you kind of, I mean, it is dry. It actually did a really good job. Like it's dry and curled. All right. I'm going to finish out the bottom layer of my hair. I'm going to fast forward it and I'll be right back. Okay, that was a little harder than I thought. Um, a couple things I noticed. Number one, when you blow out your hair smooth with a smoothing brush first, it definitely gives like a bigger bouncier curl, as you can see. Um, this gives a little bit like a straighter curl, which I don't dislike. I just think it looks a little different. I'm gonna break them up in a second, but I just wanted to discuss my thoughts. When you're attracting the ends of the hair to the barrel. I kept wanting to hold my ends and then attach it like this, like wrap it around almost, cause that's just what you would naturally kind of do. But you actually have to hold it up here and attract the hair to the barrel and then go up. So that was a little bit of a getting used to. Other thing I noticed was 
It's a little hard to when your hair is in there to kind of push it up to the cool shot and then push it down. Like it just, I don't know, this is really being picky, but I have to say it, um, it's $500, you know? Um, this little button maybe should come out a little bit further so it's a little bit more comfortable for your finger to push it up to the cool shot while you're holding it. Just a thought. The other thing I noticed was it's hard to get these like baby finer hairs in the front of your face and the baby like little the little guys underneath. It's hard to get those to attract to the actual barrel itself. Now I would like to try this one more time because the front pieces are pretty straight which I don't actually mind because I actually like straighter hair on me personally but I would like how it looks. So let's try it. Okay, so you can get it if you really try, but I don't think that looks good. Um, it definitely blows in your eye when it's close to your face too. All right, let me break up these curls a little because I'm not really one for curly, curly hair but I do like a little something. It's okay. Let's see this side. Now. This side looks a little better, I think. It looks a little fluffier, a little smoother. This side doesn't look as great and um again this side was a side that i just went straight in with the curling wand um and then curled it like they told you to this side was a side that i took the smoothing brush to first just to give it like a little extra smoothness to it because my hair again is curly now i think it's going to probably depend on texture but i think you can probably see the difference between both sides what i'm going to do for my whole head is i'm going to go through with the smoothing brush first and then I'm gonna go in with the curling wand and we're gonna see how that works. Okay, so I dried my hair. Took probably about eight minutes, I would say. It's like pretty dry, not like bone dry but it's pretty dry but you can see it's poofy like i wouldn't leave the house like this for me i wouldn't but that's fine if you want to um let's i don't know you guys i'm feeling like this is going how i thought it was gonna go which is not so great because again it's my hair texture it's not the actual product It's pretty, it's a little like old fashioned. It's a lot of volume. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I don't love it. But I do like the way the curls are coming out when I use this first. That is key for me because my hair again is, you know, it's really, really hot when you hold it on the, these, first of all, these little pieces are not staying curled, but that's okay because I like it straighter anyway, I guess, but whatever. Um, it's really, really hot when you hold it close to your head right here. Like it's burning my temple area. This is how it looks when we're finished, kind of. My hair has never been bigger. Let's just get that out there. <laughs> never been bigger. <laughs> has never been more fluffy in my entire life. <sighs> it's not my style. But my hair does look really pretty. Let's just say this. It's not gonna give you a beachy wave, which is what I prefer, but it's not a bad curl. It's just not what I normally would do. However, I have to say my hair looks extremely healthy and I'm thinking once this falls a little bit more, 
like because even just putting oil in it makes it kind of um fall a little bit more and I like it a lot better it feels very very pageant hair I feel like I have so much hair though all right so what do you guys think it's so very bouncy and it's so full it's a little fluffier than I normally wear it and it's definitely very curled at the ends which I mean is kind of a given because you're wrapping it into the ends it feels very very healthy it looks looks healthy and I feel like I'm kind of in like a commercial right now <laughs> um, I think it's just different than what I normally do so here's what we're gonna do I'm going to wear my hair like this. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if it falls. We're gonna see if it stays for as free. We're gonna see if my mom likes it. We're gonna, we're just gonna get people's opinions. And then I will come back at the end of the day and I'll update you guys. I have a special guest. My, mo my mom just showed up and I, how do you, how do you like my hair? It's different than I love though. it. You love it? That's it's so I, big. It's so beautiful. Really? I would like to try it. Okay. Okay. So your, her hair is dry and straight, so I think we're just gonna like try it. Come okay. a little closer, because I look large. <laughs> okay, push up a little. Can you move up a little further? We're gonna try hers dry and see if this works, because I started with mine wet, and the whole point of this machine, look how cool it is. Wow. You see it? Um, the whole point of this machine is that it, it styles your hair and it dries it in one step. So, so should we wet my hair? Well, I'd like to see how it works dry, okay. just out of curiosity, and then we'll go from there. But your hair is a lot longer than mine, so it might be nice. Push it out this way a little. So, when you're doing it on someone else's hair. Okay, well, let's just try it, okay? Okay. You into it? I'm into it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. It looks like you have two weird pieces. I do? No, here. It's like oh. split. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I love my Dyson products. You do? Yeah, blow dryer and... Okay. I guess it doesn't really work if your hair's not wet. Let's try one more piece, just out of curiosity. And then we, we can dampen your hair. Was your hair wet, wet, or just it was damp. Wet, damp? It was like I was, took a shower and I washed my hair today. So. Did you really need that? No. Pretty. Kind of works when your hair is dry. It's just, um, it's much, much less. Okay, so let's stamp it. Do you want to dampen it? Yes. Okay. Yes. We're going to do it. We may as well do it right. Doesn't seem to grasp it like it's a clip. No. It's not working. We better do it because I wet my hair. Okay, I'm gonna do something. <sighs> I just don't understand. Maybe it's too wet. Let's try this piece. How many seconds do you hold it for? I didn't really say. It doesn't hold it until your hair is dry. It's pretty on you. My hair isn't long as your isn't as long as yours, so it doesn't look as good. Hot blowing in the 
here. Yeah, Tell, say that to the camera. It's a little hot blowing in my ear. Yeah, I thought it was so hot when it was right close to my ear too. It was burning me. I don't know how this is working on you. So then you have to like change the barrel. So you have to go and you have to put a different one on because we're doing a different direction now. Which oh. is kind of annoying. But I mean, I get it. It's pretty. It's kind of more like a blowout. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. But it's very soft looking. You like it guys? <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> My hair. So I've had a chance to wear this hair all day long and I got so many compliments on my hair today that I was actually surprised at how many compliments I got and seems ever really likes my hair this way. So these are my final thoughts. This product, this Dyson Airwrap Styler, does indeed style your hair, smooth it, blow it out and give you just like this like really voluminous like blown out effect pretty easily and pretty like seamlessly I want to say and uh, my hair feels extremely healthy like it never feels this like bouncy and healthy and just like you know I don't know it just it just like looks like I got like a professional blowout like my friend I saw her she was like your hair looks so good who did that like she was like who go, who, where did you go to get it done? And I was like, I did it myself. And she was like, you did this yourself. I do feel like this side is a little more curled for some reason than this side. But generally speaking, I really, really like the way my hair looks. At first when I did it, it felt a little too big and a little too voluminous. But I think for me, I'm used to having like a beach wave. So I curl the, the root of my hair and then I leave the ends completely straight. So I'm a little more comfortable with like a straighter end. First of all, because it makes my hair look longer. Second of all, because that's just what I'm used to. And I like a beachy kind of messy vibe. I think for someone who wants a voluminous, um, like blown out effect, someone who maybe likes to curl their hair and like wrap it up and keep it in like curlers and like still let it down and have like a really voluminous look. Maybe someone who has like longer hair, I feel like this might work a little better. Although, I don't know, I mean, I just always want my hair to look longer than it is and this makes it look a little shorter just because it does curl the ends. Um, but for someone who has longer hair, like it's, I think this would be super pretty because it would give like that like, fuller, voluminous, big curled look. And really the curls didn't drop that much. It, it still has the similar amount of volume as it had in the beginning of the day. And I kind of can't stop touching my hair because it feels so freaking healthy, <laughs> which is like crazy because I bleach it and I flat iron it and it's naturally curly. So I put like a ton of heat on it. So it's, it's not very healthy, but it feels and looks really healthy right now. Let's see what else I have to say. I'm actually surprised at how well it smoothed my hair. As you can see right here, my it's still a little curly, but like actually way less curly and kinky. And like even like the tops of my hair, like it's not that frizzy at all. Way less frizzy and like curly than I like originally had thought it was gonna be with this tool. So I think for someone who has curly hair like me naturally, you would want to use the smoothing, the, the, the coarse hair smoothing brush first to dry your hair almost completely. I mean, you know, pretty dry and like just a little damp. And then you would want to go in with the wand portion. Um, and then this would be the best for just like a bigger voluminous wave. I'll try the smaller one eventually. Um, I also would be interested in trying the round brush as well, although that would give, I would assume that would give a similar look to this because it would be essentially like round brushing your hair, which gives me this kind of effect normally. You know what I'd be really interested in? An even bigger barrel wand top than this one because this is nice and it's, you know, a decent size and whatnot, but I would love like an even bigger, like almost like not curl, just like fresh blowout type of look. So is it worth the money? I say yes. I actually really like the way my hair looks. I feel different. I feel fun. I feel like bouncy. Like, I don't know. I can't really explain it, but I actually love the way my hair looks right now. And as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, I was not really sold on it, but I think you can tell from the way that my hair looks and I wish you guys could feel it, but it just feels like 
so nice that I really feel like this is gonna be so much healthier for my hair when I style it, which is a big reason why I wanted this tool was because I was sick of like flat ironing and then doing all that kind of stuff. Now, I do feel like this is gonna last a couple days as well. And I feel like even tomorrow when I wake up, it'll be a little bit um, less curly, which I might even like better because I'm used to wearing my hair pretty straight for the most part. So I'm excited to see how it, um, how it continues to kind of wear, but so far so good. I really like the way it looks. And even though it was really freaking pricey, I do recommend it. <laughs> so I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope it helped. Um, I just feel like, I feel like I got a haircut or I feel like I have like a new like hairstyle, which I don't because this isn't new, but just like it feels so good. So fresh, so healthy, so voluminous. All right. Let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.